stuck in the rain. I don't know why. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. That song stuck in my head. <laughs> what song is this? Can I? That's can all you I sing know. like one word, or it's just so I know it, or away. That's all I know. Oh, that song. <laughs> that's all I know. It's from TikTok, I think, and then I heard it on the radio. Oh, TikTok songs Dude. are a whole other thing, aren't they? Like they addicted. could be huge, and no one else will know about them. <laughs> Away. <laughs> yep, I figured it out. Now I know That's it. You know. Oh my gosh! Welcome to the <laughs> drinking. You know I'm gonna leave all that in, right? I know. We're okay, good. okay, good. It's okay. Good. <laughs> you have to know if you're being a weirdo, I'm gonna leave it in, right? I, listen, that is the best I've ever sound singing in my entire life. So right? you air that shit. And with all these day mics, long. maybe I'll put like an echo effect on there or something. Dude. No, fucking give my voice that like little Wayne effect. Little oh, fucking. oh, like um, the, that voice the voice box. changer yeah, thing. The voice yes, cha- yes, yeah, yes. Do that shit. The auto. Auto tune. tune. Wow, we're doing wow. really good with we're words finding today. Finding words really well. We're reading. Yeah, we both can read. We both can. A little bit about us. Yeah, so we both can read. <laughs> um, we both can write. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't really spell. Um, and I think you know what's made it worse. Thanks to spell check on the phone, I, I know way worse with it. Way worse. So that's what I'm saying. Is like, like definitely. I feel like I used to be able to spell spelling. Definitely, I'm like sitting there going define Italy. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm and that one I always get it. wrong. Yeah, accept, accept. Right? Different ones. All of these. I feel bad for anyone who has to learn English because they sit there and go, wait, wait, wait. This has how many meanings? Like this one word. Has teaching, how many meanings? Like bear, yeah. Like bear arms. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, bear naked. Uh, well, you like, know what? You'll see it when you a bear. have a kid. So I'm like teaching my my five year old is learning to read, and there's all these like very normal questions like why? Like last night it was like why high in the sky? Why is that G H? And you're just uh-huh. like not like H I right? And you're like well sometimes when a G is in front of an H it's silent. It's like it's, all this shit. I'm I'm no I'm figuring out now when I'm teaching him figuring out how stupid I am. But by the way, teaching I would him, never be able to do math as a parent. I'm like, dude, you're right. Like every time he asks, I'm like, dude, no, that's a logical right. question. That's stupid. Like that's so. That's what I would stupid. tell my children. I'd be like, the English language is dumb. Is dumb. I'm sorry. This is what you have to do. The past school, just learn it, and then you can let it. Let your brain just dump it later. I don't know. Yeah, you know, because your phone and every you you will be able to spell check at every. Oh sure moment of your life with them too so don't even i'm mean, that's what i should tell them right that's why don't I even worry math about too spelling. like listen just fucking get through the math phase it's fine you will probably never ever use this in your entire life besides yeah. addition addition subtraction multiplication whatever yeah all the rest just suck it up brain dump that shit later on you know brain dump yeah <laughs> You got calculators on your phone. Calculators on your phone. I remember my math teacher would be like, you're not always going to have a calculator with you. What's this, woman? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. It's a picture of your husband. It's a picture of my husband (laughs) with a mustache. (laughs) Hey, guys. Welcome to Drinking Broettes. Hi. Brought to you by (laughs) Ghostbed. We'll get to that later. But can you believe that Ghostbed is sponsoring us? I know. I feel feel important. It pops up. I don't know. If it's because my phone listens to me, but it, it pops does. up on my Instagram mm-hmm. in like a real way, just like with every any other big sponsor. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, like because that's no. like they sponsor me. I Do replied you know I mean? to one of their videos and they started following our podcast page. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like it's like we're famous. Got so excited. <laughs> we yes. have a real sponsor that gives so a shit about us. Famous. But anyway, so what is our show today gonna well, be centered around because i think i need to put in a song right around i know now. let's talk about <laughs> sex baby let's talk about you and me uh, let's talk about uh, uh, we know the words i didn't know the rest of it so glad <laughs> you carried me through no i don't know i only know that part and yeah. i do know it's color me bad because i like to say 
if I'm like tired, <laughs> color me tired. Like, oh, is that? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I used to do that. I just know I thought the I was, first part of that. And I that's all that matters. Funny. No, that is all that matters. So yeah, we will, after the sponsors, because I want to get into some current events right now, but yes. after the sponsors, it's going to be then literally all about sex. Some of you guys have submitted some questions yeah. about sex or just topics Unless you guys want us to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> it's what? not like a sex episode where we're going to be talking about sexy shit or oh, anything no, like no, this no, or no. porn or anything. Well, it's a like sex. Yeah. The porn will be in there. But it's going to be a sex question and yes. just how we feel about certain things and what's normal, what's not, what's da da da, whatever, right? Yeah, like hey, just from hey, our perspective. Well, no. What are your heart knows? Here. What are yeah. like? What are your guys' thoughts on masturbation or porn? You know what I mean? What yeah. happens if you lose your sex drive? Uh, just little stuff like that, or like when did you lose your virginity? Yeah, and, and so you guys get to hear it kind of from us. And again, yeah, just like you said, we're not any we're experts, not experts, but you guys ask us, and so I think you guys know that we'll tell you it straight up without a filter on it. Yeah. So maybe that's why you want to hear. And it. maybe some man fans. Now look, man fans. Oh, they'll learn some shit through this. We'd like you to learn. Yeah, you need to listen too. Look, learn. Open up your brains. Open, open up, up your, your hearts. Open up your hearts. Don't brain dump it. No listen because this will help you anyways but yeah so we should get into some just current stuff so i need to admit what? and if you guys i'm trying to think what episode it was maybe nine um when we talked about the bachelor a little bit more mm. and oh, we no. both were on they remember um, opposite ends of the spectrum uh -huh. and you were like he's such an idiot and he's such a clumsy flat flat-footed <laughs> indecisive little shithead and you were like stop 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 no and you're right i didn't know that much yet it no was but the you very were like, beginning yeah and but just like were, i just like with anyone i give people fair exactly, shakes right exactly. like i really give you and multiple you were being, times you were being better to prove yourself to yeah, yeah yeah he's a fucking turd and a half people Lord have mercy. I mean, so calm down. Chris and I watch it together, right? Okay, Which I yeah. love that we watch it. And he will make his little injects. I think it's super cute. And it makes him look better as a man. Just right? so you guys know, watch with your wives. They love it. And we love it. And you will look like Prince Charming. Yeah. And Chris was sitting there going, dude, this guy cannot make his up, cannot make up his own mind. Mm -hmm. He does not have a backbone. Mm -hmm. And that lawyer chick, the one that we like. Yes. I forget what her name is. Kelly. Kelly. He goes, dude, that is too much woman for him. I'm like, oh, exactly. Because when they. She's way too ready. Oh my gosh. She is at the perfect age. She has. She is way too smart. A great head on her shoulders. We love She Kelly. is the most realistic person there. Kelly needs to go home. He We're went, not ready for her to leave, but Kelly needs to leave. He because went. Because this is stupid. Right. He wanted to be. So first of all, this guy feeds into the drama. Right. He he is obsessed with it. He feeds into it. Oh, he it. loves it. Um, And so because of the fact that she's not like clawing other girls mm -hmm. eyes out over him and not fighting hey he i really need you to show me that right you care he takes that as like she doesn't she's not trying and so realistically she said hey listen you know because he asked her you he went hey do you think you can see me marry like yeah the marrying whole date, each other the whole date was so weird it he was. was just like trying to see can you see yourself marrying me and she goes Okay, realistic at the end of this, oh like God. I can't say whether I'd see myself marrying you. This is like one of the first times we ever really had a date together. Yeah. But do I, am I ready for marriage? Am I ready for a proposal and an engagement possibly at the end of this? Sure, if we get to know each other better. And I'm like, what other, like, that She's makes way complete too sense. too normal for this she is. show where it's like, again, I think she'll, I mean, she has to go home at some point just because, again, she's way too normal. Yeah. She's treating it like a normal dating situation mm -hmm. where, the producers don't like that. So sure. they're going to do something to get her out. Well, because it makes the show, it, it basically makes, makes the show fun of the show. It makes it invalid. Yeah. Where all these other girls look fucking psychotic. Always. Falling in love with them after, you know, the first or second date. And I know we talked about that a little bit, but I don't know. I'm seeing more and more where I'm just like, dude, you are not ready for this whole process. No. Your head's not on straight. And by the way, I find out some juicy shit from TikTok on The Bachelor. What? So you know how Sydney in this last one was talking about how she was like bullied and she like hid She's in the She's the bathroom biggest shit talker of all time. Her whole year and everything else. And how she never, she didn't go to the prom. A dude from her school fucking whipped open his yearbook and start po like posting pictures of her on TikTok saying, really? You didn't have any friends? Then why did why are you here with all your friends? You didn't go to homecoming or prom? Then why are you here like on the court? Homecoming court. Oh, by the way. What a 
fucking right? bitch. And then also, what else? I don't know. There was other things saying that how miserable she was, and I guess she won some like beauty competition or like I don't know, whatever. It's in the yearbook. Like yeah. she, she's surrounded by people wearing crowns and laughing. So and- she flipped so quickly. We'll get into it a little bit, but she flipped so quickly after she got the rose into this like hood rat bully. She's always in the fucking middle of all the drama. If you're in the middle of all the drama, mm-hmm. you're starting it. You're stirring the pot. And look, we need her to be around. She's got to be around. The one thing I want to say is when he was out on the date with her, he was so high on pills. Oh, my gosh. Um, because yeah. he just slammed a glass into his own face. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Could you imagine? He trips. all. The, he's always tripping. Dude. They're like going down these hills. He's tripping always. He like goes to dip girls and almost drops them. I mean, he's dangerous. He fell on to the be date around. with Kelly. Like he on a fell. fucking rock. Like he tripped. <laughs> Like, like it's just those kind of it people reminds me of myself honestly me, though i know but it i'm makes kind of me clumsy. so uncomfortable because oh, like he's he's uncomfortable though because he's like gonna be grabbing you and trying to do something stupid like maybe putting you know like picking you up and then he's gonna fucking fall backwards and you guys are both gonna die yeah do you know I what know. i mean yeah he needless to say i'm kind of on board with you now okay i've changed my mind i've hopped on the other just side of the fence weasel dude I just, just I'm not dweeb. liking it. And you know what, too, is I think when it comes to production and marketing, I think that they realize how boring he is and that many people aren't watching it. So they purposely keep dramatic girls around. Exactly. And that's the reason why they're having exactly. another episode tonight. And that's the reason why they're also having him doing press in the middle of the season, which is very unrare, like very unlikely. Yeah. It's because they realize how boring he is and people are getting really frustrated with him yeah. flip flopping. So that's my stance on it. Okay. Well, so. welcome. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the I'm right so side of history. I'm so happy I'm here. <laughs> right? Welcome to the right side of this whole situation because I would hate to see you go to the very end mm. still liking him. Oh, I would. Yeah. I'm, I mean, listen, I give people a fair shake, but at the same time, I have a very open mind and go, okay, well, you're, Look, proving, me, you're proving me wrong. No, he's, he's not cute to me anymore cute, because of right? it. But he's cute because sometimes. Of it. I mean, he's a, technically a cute telling you a guy's personality will can make it or break it even if he's hot i'll eventually they'll just be so like true. Well, you're not cute anymore they pretty it pretty much makes it but yeah. um the other thing is you know how victoria f won the cosmopolitan of course she did uh, she's hot cover yeah. she's hot anyways they took it away from her because they found uh a photo shoot that she did with white lives matter t-shirts now <laughs> so let dramatic. me go let me er, go back for a second because it's a like white fish com- conservation oh like okay, okay campaign yeah it just is a bad look but at the same time like it's not but it white, wasn't that no it wasn't white people okay. it's not that it's just it nobody, was whatever that you foundation can't ever say that right decided to do for yes. their turn right yeah so they did a white lives matter and it was for this fishing thing and it's all in a fishing boat and they did a da-da. oh that's so silly but whatever. anyway they took it away from her people want to find fine. problems for anything okay so here's one thing ladies if you don't want to hear a um spoiler alert turn oh. it off Close your fast ears. forward it 30 seconds um one of our favorites is it madison yeah, like the really tan one. Yeah. She could hold off on that tanner, but I love her. Yeah. The really tan one who we mm-hmm. went on that first date with. Mm-hmm. I know she makes it to hometowns because uh, someone. Yep. Oh, was like, oh, I saw her in my hometown. They posted her in the hometown. So See, the spoiler alert. It's ne- You can't ever keep that a secret. I mean, if you're in a restaurant or anything, like people are going to fucking say shit, right? So Even the Kelly girl I'm running she into she makes the hometowns. I, I liked her. Yeah. And she I stays like out of the drama. So I think it's like Hannah. Hannah Ann for sure. Hannah Ann. Her. Victoria F. I mean, is a front runner, but I don't know. Something so might weird. happen. Um, she's just so effortlessly. When I look at her though, against the other girls, like she's very effortlessly good looking. Like no the makeup, blonde? no Victoria F. Oh, he's Victoria P. Blonde though. I know. Well, we have a type. I know. Yeah, but the yeah the F. She's mm-hmm. fucking stunning. Yeah, and just effort. So, like, they did a great juxtaposition of her just, like, sitting like a slob on this, like, couch, looking amazing. I know. And Glowing. then the Kelsey girl or whatever, Kel- whoever got the fucking rose, the rose where she went into his room. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's, shouldn't have gotten a rose, but Victoria, got a rose. Isn't it? Or, I don't no. know. I don't know. I, she, she doesn't it's matter. It's one of the older whites. She doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the older white. But um, she... The, the one with crier. the nose, yeah, and the, the one, one who does this constantly the nose job that she took a little bit too much off. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
she went a little bit too small. See, I don't know that. that Notice that, but I didn't. She's just very emotional, which she's I'm sure emotional. it's a very emotional process. And it's but fine, honey, boo boo, child, slow down on that wine. Slow down. I think on you're the on, wine, you know, you're on television. That's yeah. Ugh, I'd but be careful. they find. I mean, it's all. They find your your favorite drink. They put it around. Yeah. You're sitting around for hours, filming wise. Like you have nothing to do. You're gonna drink. Some of them, some of them won't, or whatever. Sure. But they they specifically like if you like wine, they have it there. They're bringing it to you, like you know. I'd be worried they want that you too. That's the thing, though, is I would be worried drinking all the time because I'm like, who knows what date I'm gonna be on a fucking oh god like, in a swimsuit in front of everyone oh, in the world. Sure. So you know, like my diet's gonna be on point. Sure, I'm not gonna be drinking as much. I'm gonna right. get my beauty sleep because I can't be looking like shit on national but television. But also, <laughs> you're not gonna be hanging out with him ever. True, you're gonna be in a room with a I bunch be of on television girls not stop though. So I'm gonna be like, oh, is that my good angle? <laughs> See, here's my problem. I would have more fun like partying with the girls in the mansion than I would. I would just like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like that's what you do for days on end well, until I like you Kelly's finally attitude. get a day. I feel like I would have Kelly's attitude a little bit because to me, she always looks on point. Like you know, but she's also not doing stupid she's pretty shit. Pretty effortless, like um, pretty. But at the same time, she showed up to Costa Rica and was like, "I'm just gonna have fun," and that's the same thing I'm gonna do too. Like, listen, you get a free fucking vacation out of this if I don't. Snag the dude. I'm gonna have fun. Whatever. I'm still gonna have fun. Oh yeah. So the juxtaposition they did was between her looking gorgeous, not doing anything on a couch, and then the other, the older white, having to like put on just like tons and tons of makeup <laughs> to just like go for a day date. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I said to Ross, I was like, that's exactly what I have to do, like every single <laughs> that's day, what me too. <laughs> because I'm an older white. I'm an older blonde white. Uh huh. And it just it goes. It's ne- it's never You have to try a little bit harder when you get It's never older. effortless where you're just like oh, like you do, you don't do had anything. You got to say messy bun, you're gorgeous. I've had a few days that were effortless and I I just felt myself and those are the days where I stayed inside and I didn't do anything and mm-hmm. I was like trying to take selfies document it and be like look I was looking for somewhere I was like I gotta go to the supermarket for what I don't know Oreos no. I'll find yeah. something so people can see this yeah like the hair effortless look. the hair is like the perfect amount of yeah. like dry mm-hmm. not too oily like somehow but it lays the messy really well bun is perfect I know and then you're not doing anything yeah. And the world doesn't get to see how beautiful. I know. You are. So you're talking about. But anyways, um, I'm glad well, you're on the right side of history. We yeah. can move on from the Bachelor right now. Well, I wanted to ask you: Did you happen to watch or hear anything about the State of the Union address last night? So I um, didn't watch it as it happened, but I watched every. I watched it the next day. Okay, because and I then watched, I watched all of the well, coverage of it. Yeah, yeah. So I watched it today, yeah. this morning, and I didn't watch it last night, but. Because I had it on while I was, like, cooking. Okay. And I just was, I don't know. I kind of just so took I'll a few hear things what from you, it. Yeah, I'll hear how you felt about it first. Okay, so my biggest thing here is I'm not going to get into politics. We don't the do poli- a lot of politics No, I'm not going to get into the political realm here. Yeah. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican or Independent or whatever the fuck you believe in. Right. That's totally fine. Where, to me, this boils down to is just being, like, a good human being maybe like even just fucking professional i think just professional i'm in, gonna i'm in, gonna yeah in my mind so okay so first of all it started off and I, I mean as much as i'd like to be like i don't know if he saw it or not i guarantee he did see it when nancy pelosi like reached out to like shake his hand and he like you know mm-hmm. turned around and stuff mm-hmm. and part of me was kind of like okay like i don't blame you or maybe you didn't see it or maybe you're not gonna like you already turn it around. Maybe you're not so going to turn you know, back home. Oh, we're not going to turn back around and like shake her hand. But part of me was kind of like, dude, you're the president. Just, you know, or just let's just be the bigger person here. Did just you know what that was about, though? What do you mean? Why he didn't shake her hand? Yeah. No. So she every whenever the um, president enters the State of the Union, the Speaker of the House is supposed to introduce the honorable president of the United States. Because I didn't hear that. Part. And she refused to do it. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Well, okay. this is where I'm going to so, get. This is, okay. But they go back but, and I know, forth. But here's the thing. So I wanted to hit on all topics because I didn't just want to hit on Nancy Pelosi. And people go like, why didn't you fucking no, no, bring no. up Trump not shaking her hand? Right? So yeah, that's no, the only no. reason why I'm bringing that up. So I'm just saying like it started with, I mean, it started with impeachment, right? But then sure, it went no, to. No, believe me. I know this goes like yeah, so yeah, yeah. far, so far beyond. But and I, I do get believe, that she's done a lot of stupid shit. I do believe they both just we're going back and forth in like a really petty way and I agree with you on that. So to me that was so like it started with that the and one then he's thing like where I was just like, hey, just be just be the bigger person. Like I get it. 
you know, just whatever. Shake your hand. I don't know. Yeah, but she should have been the bigger person. I get it. No, I get it. (laughs) Well, I didn't know that part. Okay. So that's fucked up. So it starts with that. Then it's the handshake. Well, this, Which he should have just, he should have just shaken her hand. He should have been the bigger person. If she's not going to be the bigger person, one of them has to be, right? So now they're both like just petty. So here's my thing though, is as I was watching it, right? I'm not even going to say like what party did what or whatever, but of course, Nancy Pelosi's like, mainly on the screen most of the time right so you see her actions and you see the way she is she acted like she had better things to do she didn't want to be there she mm-hmm. was fu- fiddle fucking with fucking papers she was rolling her eyes she she didn't clap like at all for anything and here's mm-hmm. the thing too it wasn't really like democrat republican it was a lot of just like this is what's going on right mm-hmm. or these are the good things and so when they had the tusky uh tuskegee airmen stand up um that pilot and then like when the the soldier like came home and everyone's embracing him yeah, saying, yeah, Oh my yeah. God, thank you. You're yeah. a fucking hero. Yeah. She couldn't even clap or be happy for that. And to me, I'm like, you are a bitter ass bitch. Like I was so sick of just seeing the pettiness is what mm-hmm. I thought it was. <clears throat> and unprofessionalism. Like to me, I'm like, really? You're a speaker of the house and this is how you're going to act like a fucking four year old throwing a tantrum because really on mm-hmm. national television, that just kind of got me a little mm-hmm. bit. Like, why can't we put our differences aside for a second and celebrate certain people and, you know, successes in their life or people's lives or like heroes coming home? Like, why can't we be happy? Why can't we all put our differences aside and be happy for this? Right. Mm-hmm. And so, of course, sometimes when they pan to the crowd, I'm seeing all these representatives, you know, of like Congress and just, of, you know, congressmen and everything else like very important people who are representing thousands upon millions of us slouching their fucking chairs yawning like act- mm-hmm. looking again like children yeah they're being forced to sit there right but they're like really acting out purposely mm-hmm. and their parents are like sit up straight yeah stop slouching in your fucking seat act- no. be, be, like an adult. be an yeah. adult and to me i was just really taken back kind of all by that Right. Yeah. That was the only thing that I kind of was really a big bummer. And then at the end, of course, when she ripped up the paper, I was like, you fucking twat waffle. I don't care who she it is. It was so like. That was such a fucking like really. The sentiment so, is what so it is. It's though. just very childish. It's but just so childish. But I think childish. that they think that he is childish. So. But OK, so here's my thing. So you're going to fight fire with fire. Mm-hmm. Like, are you fucking kidding me? If you think he's childish and you don't like the way he acts or you don't like the way he does things, then why in the world we succumb to that level too? Mm-hmm. Doesn't that make you just as bad? Does, that makes you a hypocrite. You're mm-hmm. throwing now stones at a fucking glass house. Mm-hmm. So someone has to be the better person here. People need to be the bigger person. And to me, I'm just sitting here going, these are the people who are fucking running our country and they acting like children on fucking television. I don't care what a party you're affiliated with. To me, I feel like we all can just do better. And that's just my take on it. So my take on it was basically the same, but I... I don't talk about my political views really in either do you, but like, mm-hmm. I don't know, like, I don't know how I feel about Trump, right? I don't know how I feel about them. I think they're all just acting horribly, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I will say about Trump, I think he's accomplishing what he wants, which is to expose the ridiculousness yeah. of the political landscape right now. Where and how it's been for so long, which is just like everyone's out for themselves. Yeah. Nobody really cares about people. Um, if you think any representative gives a shit about you, you're delusional. They give a shit about themselves and money mm-hmm. and, and the continuing their political them. career. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's what they care about. They don't care about the guy in fucking middle America that needs to get a job or doesn't have health care. I promise you they do not give a shit. And so I think when Trump came in, he's either brilliant mm-hmm. or he's a piece of shit asshole. I'm just not sure which one it is. And it kind of goes back and forth, right? Sure. Where it's like he's poking the bear Mm -hmm. so that you can see what they are which is like ripping up a speech and not standing for a fucking military dad coming home i know like embracing his family and like so you can see it right like sometimes the american people need a big fucking crazy wake-up call right and maybe he's doing that but and is it maybe the right, but is it the he's right a way? piece of shit like, asshole. You know, I right? really yeah. have no idea. No, like I, I have no idea. But at the same time, you and I are talking about. 
by the way, I have never talked about the state of un- state of union in my life. I don't <laughs> fucking care. They're usually fucking boring, yeah, right? Yeah, we're not going to we're not going to But I'm just saying like this is what he yeah. does, right? So now you and I are talking about it. Mm-hmm. Now you and I are paying attention to who the speaker of the house is and how she acts where we she's been clearly she's been doing it for 200 years because she's 350 (laughs) years old right so like she's been doing it for a long time you and I have never even known her name yeah and now here we are Mm -hmm. seeing her ripping ripping up a speech refusing to say the honorable president of the you know so is it a good thing Mm -hmm. I think that it's a sentiment among a lot of more moderate people that aren't really Democrat, aren't really Republican, but we just kind of want to live our lives and let other people live their lives, right? Yeah. Um, That's kind of where we lie, right? And I think the good thing I will say about it is that people like you and I that are very moderate are able to see stuff that we would have never seen before because we're like, okay, like, right? I hope people can. You know, sometimes you got to put... I think the politics aside and, and look at the big picture and go, okay, let's just look at this as like yeah. normal adults. Is this, it, is this normal behavior? Is, it is, normal this, behavior? is this appropriate behavior? Is this professional? For people Absolutely in not. high office. I know. Like high up this is, elected this is shit, office. Not even people I feel like in high school and college do even nowadays. And that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. It's and just, I will say petty. he also made it very, um, a bigger spectacle than the State of the Union has ever been before where... You know, giving Rush Limbaugh the medal and mm-hmm. like giving it to him right then, like they never do that. I was a little bit surprised that. about that, well, but because he comes from reality TV background, right? And mm-hmm. so he was getting he's a showman the most too. views and the most amount of reaction, well, which is like you talk about the family and then you bring the dad in. You know what I mean? It's very Ellen. Here's the thing, though: <laughs> is this is how this is who he is. I know. Like people act so surprised sometimes. Like, listen, he started off being a showman, totally. right? Totally. Like doing this on television, bringing viewers in, bringing people who want to see and like doing these spectacles. Yeah. So you really think he's just going to stop doing it stop just because doing he's president? That. And, you know, I was saying to Ross too, like when we were watching the stuff today was like, he seems to as crazy as he is and how much, as much as he pokes the bear, he seems to stay very level headed and he lets, Sometimes other people. Oh, so, well, in his, in his tweets is is his when tweets, is the only time. Yes, but I mean, but for the most part, you're right. I don't think he's cursing or yelling, but I mean, he'll be petty and shit for sure. He'll be somewhat petty. Sometimes but the he tweets, is but very you're right, though for all the measured. Shit. Even when he's calling you a piece of shit, he's very like measured about it, and then he lets you know the other people. You're a piece of shit, right? And just yep. we're fine. Everything's fine. You're a piece of shit, right? Mm-hmm. That's basically his thing. I'm good. You're good. I love America. Fuck off. That's basically like his mm-hmm. thing, right? And however he does it. And he sort of lets the other people, I think I was telling you about somebody like you let them just spin off yeah, and like be spin like a fucking be top, crazy man. and she was just she was just back there, dude, ripping speeches and not shaking, you know what I mean? She was going crazy. And she you could tell she was going crazy. And then who looks like the crazy one there? She does. She does. Who is the actual crazy one? Maybe him. I yeah, don't know. But she fucking looks it, and she definitely. It, that was ridiculous to me. That was so unprofessional, it was just stupid, and but completely it is, petty. That's like the way know. it is now, right? Yeah. And I mean, again, the State of the Union has never been good television, but no. it was good. That's what it we, was that, like again, entertaining. That's another, well, that's another reason why I did it while also doing a couple other things, like totally posting You're on like, social media and cooking funny. for the husband. Like I was kind of paying attention to it, and Rush then a little bit not. Limba. But every I know, but every single time I saw it, I just I saw her face, and I was like, I, I want to slap you in your you know She's million so dollar done up old. Can you face. imagine? <laughs> I mean, her hair is so perfect and young. Is it a is wig? It? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really nothing her hair. Her, nothing about her looks perfect or young. Her eyes look like they're caving no, into but her. Do you know she's, I mean, really old. I'm not even joking. Yeah, you can tell she's gotten a lot of work done. She's gotten work done. She has a surprised face all the time, too, which probably doesn't help her, you know, her look. I'm going to have to look She always looks I'm like. telling you. Shocked to me. But she is like an old lady. Like, she should have. At least the texture well, of her hair should maybe be Maybe it's gray. time for that bitch to fucking retire. I because it, I'm really sick of these petty games. We need first to get someone, thing, when you put in N-A, up, 
The it first com- thing that comes up is Nancy Pelosi's We, we age. just need to get someone who I feel like is a lot more professional. I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, or whatever the hell you are. I just You need to be a professional, professional. if you're going to be in that position. And just care about your country. Your country. Like, your people. Like, oh, my God. And people that a are soldier fighting just came for you. Home, like, and you're embracing your family and your kids. This is a great moment. And I'm going to stand up here and clap. Because it doesn't mean I'm clapping for Trump. It means I'm clapping for the oh, U.S. But they can't separate the two. That's She's 79. Okay. For She's a white? one foot in her fucking grave right now. For a white lady? She should be, you know what I mean? Like, walker. She's on fucking steroids and drugs. Hunched over. She's on cocaine. She and is on heels steroids. this big every day. Her hair is completely done, highlighted, blown out every so single day. So is that the day. only one thing of credit we're going to give her? Is like, wow, you don't look as old as you are. She has to, though, because she has to, like, look... I think she spends a lot, you think a lot she goes of time home and is like Mrs. Doubtfire, where she takes off the entire mask and everything, God, and just so. like looks completely. I different. hope so. I <laughs> hope she just lets loose. It. And those feet. I mean, when I see her hobbling around on those heels every day, I just go, "Those feet must be fake. They might be fake feet." She's probably got a lot of. You can't corn. have gnar- you can't have old lady gnarled feet in there and walk around. How's your hips? How's your knees? I mean, how are you doing it? How are you doing? I it? don't care enough to think about her in that way <laughs> just saying i mean we gotta give the gal something i mean my god 80 year old you white? look kind of young for your age look but you act any, really young for your age look at any other 80 year old white and they are gonna be betty like, fucking white bitch are you kidding she's yeah. a fucking hello oh, how old is and betty white and she looks fucking nothing 80s and 90s like her. and she's still she's funny she's witty she's talented she doesn't act like a fucking child on television if anything she makes everyone laugh i love her she's yeah betty white betty is 98 white. and still fucking crushing it so nancy pelosi whatever I told you, she's, she's always surprised by the hair, always. <laughs> okay, you're going to get into some sponsors and we're going to talk about... Okay, well, Sex as favorite. always, we are brought to you by ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yes, drinking bros, we want to make it easy for you guys. So ac- across all of our shows, it's just the same landing page. So guys, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and you're going to see all the deals that you get through us. Mm -hmm. Um, They actually bumped up their President's Day sale to 25% off. It was 15. I think they were kind of like, well, first responders military always get 15. Maybe wish we should bump it up a little bit for President's Day. And it's going on to when, Tiffany? March 3rd? March 3rd. Yeah. Yeah, So they have it going on for a long time. And I was talking to you on yesterday's show about the adjustable base Mm -hmm. that what is it i mean it's 7.99 that's insane with all the stuff that you get i say i'm looking at all our different beds right here the lux the flex and this is our normal ghost bed they look so like ghost bed lux looks amazing oh yeah it is it's that is the premium change your life is it situation yeah is that you guys have at your place um, yes, you will be, you will be loving it at the bitch house tonight. <laughs> um, and it will be a bitch house because you're going to be in it. it. It will be a bitch house because yes. the bitch was in it. Because the bitch is in the house. I'm like, oh, sorry, Ross. I'm going to stay with Tiffany at the beach house. He's like, uh, this has gotten out of hand. Slumber party. Hang on. This has gotten a little bit out of hand. You guys are hanging out too much. Who's going to take care of the kids? I know. Good luck. Hey, see ya. <laughs> Um, yeah, and we need to get you that adjustable base because Dude. USB lights. I mean, again, I don't want to blow anybody up, but I know. Ashley Furniture, rooms to go. I'm just going to name those two. If you get an adjustable base there, you can't get anything less. And it's starting at 1800 That's probably it's like a, one side, one of the twins. So and this I'm deal is too, insane. Uh, USBs are selling me on everything nowadays. Like literally you put a USB You're anywhere. a sucker for, an, yeah, for a USB. <laughs> put it on the bed frame. I love that. I love Done. that about I'm you. I'm taking it. Put it in a bar and done. Like I'm just going. a little something about you. Yeah. Um, it's the simple things in life. It's the simple things in life. Uh, so go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Go to that landing page. You're going to get 25% off President's Day and any other deals that they are offering to their most loyal fan base, the drinking bros mm-hmm. and drinking broettes and Ross Patterson Revolution and all you guys. So 
Um, next up, we have another sponsor. Ooh. Somebody else. Say love us. us. <laughs> I gotta stop shaking my boobs like that. They're I know. Really jiggling today. to come down. <laughs> like, Mine are like can't falling see that. out. <laughs> mine are older, so they it's like good. fall out of stuff. Is it? See, I think I'm about to start soon, so mine oh. are getting bigger, which is totally fine. Totally but then I get fine. Totally into it. it. So bloat it. So sorry, Strike Force. We didn't mean to go into our bloated boobs during your sponsor, but Strike Force has been with us since like our first show. And mm-hmm. they were a smaller company. We were a smaller company. And we've kind of like grown together. I love that. Yeah. So Strike Force is like near and dear to my heart and an awesome product that is blowing up i mean pretty much blown up at this point i mean yeah. they're in every 7-eleven everyone i see has them but we need to get you into the strike force well we need Land. to do that black cherry claw with the lemon with strike lemon, force which is potion for day drinking yeah keeping you going all night without being a sloppy mess i know you take a little bit then you don't have to do coke which i know you love to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sure. You know hey, what? I love that powder shit. Hey, girl, let's grow up a little bit. Let's stop doing coke yeah, let's and totally just put strike force in our drinks. I need to actually probably grow up a little bit because I feel very juvenile going up to the bar and be like, can I have a vodka red ball? Yeah, don't. Like, We're not going to do it. We're not going to do it anymore. And I know most people don't do good on it. I am I do good. You amazingly do, but I'm telling you. I'm a blast in the glass with vodka red ball, but it's not are. good for my adult heart. No, and Strike Force <laughs> is a way better combination oh God, it's so much healthier, of yeah. ingredients and caffeine. And it's a it's just a better energy. It feels like a better energy. I'm sure you're than, not getting as jittery because it's more natural. No, and it provides caffeine, taurine, potassium, B vitamins. Like who's not yeah, gonna like that? It's good for pre pre workout, pre drinking, during drinking. Do you like how I only use it to drink? But listen. Pre sex people capades? need it. Um you oh, yeah. have, like, have energy we, for the bedroom. Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah. yeah. Um, we've thought about, we've said before that it's good for lube. It's not. It's very sticky. It's a sticky substance. Excuse me? Don't use it as lube. <laughs> I would never have thought about that, but thank you for telling me I that. I mean, we thought about it, but like, just don't do it. <laughs> okay, awesome. So I'm glad that we have. Oh, anyways, I, and we have a promo code. I know. For 20% what off. What is it, Jesse? You tell me. What is this beautiful promo code that we came up with? You bitch. It's not you bitch. It's Lady Boner. Lady Boner, guys. Does that make sense? L-A-D-Y-B-O-N-E-R. I'm going to make you say it every single time. You guys know how to spell it. We kind of chose it because it makes me uncomfortable (laughs) and because it's easy to spell and you guys know you remember it. it. You're writing it on all of our messages. So I'm like, (laughs) well, at least they'll remember it. They don't have to think about it. Yeah. Um, So go... (laughs) Go to strikeforceenergy.com. My suggestion is to try the sample pack, use your 20% off, and then become and then get a subscription and just once you get the sample pack, yeah. I think you're I think you'll be hooked. I mean, I haven't met anyone who is. You'll figure so. out which one you like yeah. or if you want to keep continuing to get the yes. sample pack and then or even just to have packs of like 10 and 40 yeah. or 70. Yeah. yeah. Crazy amount. Yeah. And it, yeah, it is 20% off. I know. We, we so last episode I said 15. I just didn't think in a million years that they would give us 20% off, but <laughs> They love us. We special, and baby. Also, also, we yeah, special. We need you to go and get some Strike Force using Lady Boner, guys and gals, so that they know that we are a bigger and better show than Drinking Bros. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> look, there's no competition here between no, the guys and the girls, obviously. None. But um, anyways, so we're going to get into now. Let's talk about six I don't know the words. Yep. Uh, I figured we would start please where we first began. Right? Like parents talking to us about sex and when we lost our virginity. Okay. We go into that a little bit. Because I have a feeling we both have very, very different backgrounds and maybe other people can relate to it. So yeah. how how did you did, how did your parents have the birds and the bees talk with you? And how old were you when you lost your virginity? I don't know if I ever got the actual birds and the bees I've talked about before that I found the joy of sex book yeah. in my mom's room. And that'll pretty much tell you anything you need to know. Mm-hmm. And you kind of look at it laughing with your friends, but you get the gist. Yeah. You know so what I mean? So you knew if they put a P in the V... That was sex. I mean, yeah. And I also knew like weird other um, 
like positions and stuff. I remember a late a girl, like a girlfriend of a karate teacher, telling me what a blowjob was. Oh, is the How only like way too young for that. Like my mom got super pissed. Okay, um, but she was saying if you don't want to have sex, you could just give a blowjob. Oh wow, to like a young young girl. Like I want to say like. 11 12? like 12 like very young and for back in the day oh a blowjob like that was pretty and i didn't even know what to hear uh nikki glazer does the thing about it where you're like do you blow on it like <laughs> yeah for like, one second you think that you like fuck is a blow yeah blow, blow on, on it, it. Mm-hmm. um and then she was like and don't you wish that's all you had to do <laughs> right man if and i could just find out to my husband what? and blow on it like nope that has to go in your mouth and for a like, long like, uh, period of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great if you could just <laughs> blow on it. And she's like, "Oh no, you got to do way, way more, more than, than that. just You're blow on it. on it, honey." Yeah. You're choking. Yeah. Um and so I don't know, like my parents are very untraditional, mm-hmm. so like I don't even remember an actual talk happening. Okay. I think it kind of just I talked to friends. I found the book. They never really had to like sit me down. I mean, mm-hmm. it wasn't for all, you know, they didn't know I was having sex. Right. So they wouldn't, yeah. they wouldn't have to be like, Hey, sure. Be careful. Put on a condom, you know, birth control, any of that stuff. Cause it was just like, yeah, they just didn't, I don't know. Did you say on the porn star episode that you lost it? 16, 16. Yeah. Yeah. Was that with like a, a long term? No. Oh. I mean, it was with a, boyfriend it wasn't like super long term but he's yeah. a little bit older and oh. i always said i would never lose my virginity in a car and you did of course <laughs> of course Love i put it. it into its existence <laughs> um yeah and but it was like more uh, flexible and bendy back then so it was probably oh, a yeah. lot easier and it was the front seat of a cabriolet convertible with cow seats so oh. just to like set the set the scene yeah and it just wasn't Meh. Yeah, sure. I don't think anyone's I don't first think time is anyone's. Or the first like ten, fifteen, whatever. I think time. maybe if you're with like a boyfriend that you've been with for like a really long time, I know, but it's still gonna be awkward for your first like, time. Like, really? Right. You know? It's never gonna be good. Yeah. What about you? Um. So my parents. I mean, I think we kind of talked about this touch and go throughout different episodes. Mm-hmm. Um. But they didn't. They did not have a sex talk with any of us because they figured, ever ever. Because if they figured that they did, that would be somewhat of them encouraging us to have sex. Mm. And I will I will kind of preface this right now. My parents changed a lot over the years. They only know what they know, right? right. So they grew up with very strict Catholic parents. And so for us, they were, you know, in a non-denominational, non-denominational church. Okay. And they really believed in no sex before marriage. Save it to, you know, save it to your married mm-hmm. purity rings. Mm-hmm. Don't even look at a penis. Masturbation's a sin. And they really kind of hammered it in your head. Right? right. So we never really talked about it. I, I remember as a kid, like the one year we were homeschooled when we said like penis or like something when we had to read it out loud, we would be giggling and my mom would be like, no, you know, right. Like yeah. we, we, didn't, we weren't even allowed to even think about it. So of course for us, right, it felt like it was really, really wrong. Which is difficult when you are a teenager and you have hormones and you have, you know, different oh, yeah. feelings in your body going on and you don't really did know you, how to explain it or like you feel like it's all wrong. Did you want your parents to talk to you about it? I didn't want I them to I guess I didn't talk. really want them to talk about it. I didn't want it. them to. <laughs> I guess, but looking back. I wanted back, someone to, by the way. I wanted someone to. Looking back, I wish they did. Like, I really wish they did because they're so open now with everything. That I could talk to them about anything and they are with, like, my younger siblings. And, like, I'm kind of going to use this for my kids when I get older is, like, I don't want to be their best friend, but I want to still feel like they can talk to me about yeah. some of these things and that we can have a literal, legit conversation and be like, hey, listen, Take it from my experience, like have it with, like don't rush it by any means. Yeah. If you're going to have it, make sure that it's someone that you're like oh, completely okay with. I think I would. No pressure. I had that too. By the way, too, be very cautious. Um, please use protection. Here's here's how you use protection, just mm. in case you need a backup. Like, please let me know. Um, but make sure you do this because this is. By the way, these are pictures of STDs that you can get. Right. right away. Here's a baby. Like, you know what I mean. <laughs> but if you kind of do that a little bit. 
that will probably scare them into being safe about it. Because here's the thing. What am I supposed to do? Sit there and go, you can't have sex? It's kind of what our parents did to us. Yeah. Right? Like, my poor sister was 16 years old when she lost hers. And then once my parents found out, because she wasn't taking any, they weren't preventing it. Mm -hmm. Um, They weren't protecting. They just kept taking the plan B pill. Yeah. And so, like, he got money from his parents, and they had no idea where it was going. And so then once my parents found out, they grounded her for, like, a year. Oh my god! Right, and so it's instead one of, those, of being like okay, instead of being like this okay. is what you need to do, instead grounded of, for they, a year. Yeah, like couldn't really go out and do anything because they thought to themselves if they prevented her from doing that, they can prevent her from having sex, and that's not really the case. Like I don't want to sit there and prevent my kids from having sex. I can know it's going to happen, yeah. but if I can educate them and help them out with it, and that's kind of. So I didn't get any of that. I had, yeah. no, I, I had no idea what sex was. I didn't know putting the P in the V was a sexual yeah. act. I All I knew from my neighbor who went to a public school, we talked about this before, was breaking the hymen, right? The yeah. Like bleeding or whatever. I didn't start my period until I was like 19. Just about. Yeah. So I did not bleed anyway. So I had no idea of that stuff. And I didn't. 19? Vir- yeah. That's really weird. My mom didn't lose, like, my mom didn't ha- start her period either until she was, like, 18, 19. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, we were much older. Okay. Um, very active. It's, like, tiny, you know, real thin girls. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe that's you it. You know, yeah, that yeah, could yeah. be it, too. And then I didn't lose mine until I was almost, ni- eight, I was, like, 18. Okay. So it was just one of those things where it was, like, um, yeah, this is not expected. And the worst part, I think, too, is that for a really long time, the only way that I would have sex and if I, that I felt like okay with it was to be really drunk. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because being drunk lowered my inhibitions. Mm-hmm. I didn't get as much in my head. I didn't like sit there and go like, it's a sin, Tiffany. You shouldn't be doing this. It's a mm-hmm. sin. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And so unfortunately that was a really bad mixture of getting really drunk and then either trying to be intimate with guys and yeah. not being probably as safe as I should have been or – Getting really drunk and then guys taking advantage of yeah. the situation sometimes. Yeah. So my first few years or so with sex and dealing with it was not. Yeah. Was not like great. Yeah. By any means. But I learned a lot. Yeah. I think that's you know? pretty. And it was one of those things where normal, I think yeah. I can take what I learned from it and absolutely pass that down and be like, I don't want my kids to go through to the same do thing. That. Yeah, yeah. Like sex is healthy. And that's the thing too. Like even in a marriage right now, like I wish my parents were like sex is healthy in a marriage. You need to have sex in a marriage. Like mm-hmm. you can't have a sexless, sexless marriage. This is a very, very important where in my head, I still think it's like right deep down in my psychology. I still think it's wrong because my parents still never said that sex was okay. okay. Right. They just said like never have sex. Don't have it oh, until you're yeah. married, but they never talked about the marriage part. Then like once you're married, then it's like, you need to be doing it. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's good to have a very healthy mindset when it comes to sex. Yeah. It's a way of expressing your love. It's a way of expressing your emotions and your intimacy um, in a very intimate, you know, gesture. And I think it's good. And yeah. so that's another thing, too, is like, hey, you know, don't go like giving your milk free to everyone. Yeah. Right. Which I would say to my kids, like it's something precious. Don't go yeah. giving this precious gift to everyone. Um, at the same time, once you're married, like fucking go all out, dude. Yeah. Like everything. It's celebrated. Right. You know, so yeah. you don't, that's, that's what I would give them. And that's what I learned a lot of. So I like that. I know. But, it, it, but I don't know what the right way is to be honest. I don't know either. Because then you're, yeah. I, I'm sure there's some people who are sitting here going like, well, I never tell my kids that, or I don't agree with that. And that's totally fine. Yeah. That's what I learned. And that's what. I have experienced and I had kind of like a traumatic time when I was younger, especially in college and yeah. with sex and stuff. And we can go on that rabbit hole completely later on. But it was one of those things where I learned a lot really the hard way. Yeah. And I had to find it out for myself with yeah. maybe a couple of my girlfriends, luckily, mm-hmm. there. And I look back and I talked to my, you know, I even talked to my mom about it. I said, you really did me a disservice. Yeah. You didn't have, like help at all and she's like i am so sorry yeah and so now even with my siblings right if my sister wants to talk to me about like her boyfriend went in anal i'll be like i got you right there i'll let's, help you out let's talk about it right yeah so at least someone in the family like but i at the same time i know some moms are like oh my god i would never want to talk to my kids about anal but i'm very open and honest with my mom about everything yeah so well now right i like it yeah yeah so that brings me then to the next question okay um do you have any like hard nose? 
And so this is coming from the group too, right? Where they have like yeah, a so lot of their their no's or they're just asking. So one of the broettes in the like private page just mm. asked everyone like, hey, Haley's sexually um, in the bedroom when it comes for you guys. What are things that you guys hard no will not do? Will not do. And so of course there was some that was like, I'm not going to let my dude piss or shit on me. I think you know, that and there, was, there was a lot of other ones. And mm-hmm. of course, some of them I was like, oh, OK. And other ones I was like, no, that completely makes sense. There's no like real hard no's with me except for, yeah, probably like sh- defecating shit. and yeah. And pee. Yeah. What pee about and poop? Other than that. What about if he wants to bring another person into no. the bedroom? Mm-mm. OK, because that was and another that, one. Again, that is just me. Yeah. Uh, I have. Uh, I think I know people that it works with. I mean, mm-hmm. small hands alone. Sure. But, yeah. um, and I don't even know if he said that they have other people come in to their actual relationship. But no, I that not one, into their um, marriage. I'm, I'm way too insecure for that. Yeah, I could not, I could never way do that. Way too insecure. Have you done anything like that before? No. Oh, you haven't? Mm-mm. <laughs> You did? So when I was in college. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. So I was in college, and I won't, like, talk about who, but I had two really good friends. Yeah. Right? A guy and a girl, and they started to date, and we all were kind of, like, we weren't drunk by any means. We were all, like, a little bit tipsy. And you like, weren't drunk? We were not drunk. Oh. No, we were, like, we were tipsy. We right. Were pretty sober. Like, yeah. I vividly remember all of it. Wow. And we all were, like, hanging out, and we knew each other for a really long time. And they were both super chill, and I, like, she's very attractive. Yeah. So, like, you know, we all were kind of, like, taking a, sh- we all decided to take a shower together. I'm fascinated, like, how this actually They're married. Start. They, they were dating then. Oh, they're now married they're now. married? They're happily married, like, totally. Do oh, you yeah. talk to either one of them? Uh, yeah, I still see them all the time. Mm-hmm. They're great. So, we end up all taking a shower together, and then we sure. all end up doing, like, sexual stuff to one another. Okay. Like, I went down on her. Yeah. She went down on me. Right. I don't think either of us went down on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice. he like, I think he like had sex with her. I don't think, I definitely don't think I had sex with him. I think I might have just kissed him. You know what I mean? Okay. Because for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. that was a little bit weird. Because they were more dating. Yeah, but we like, I like, we both tried. Yeah. And okay. I didn't want to either. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But um, I tried to go, like, I tried to go down on her and be like, did you like that? Like, yeah. Is that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Being a girl. Right. And then it was kind of just like chill afterwards. We all just like ate food and hung out and we still hang out. You still hang out to this day? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, when I go back home, I still hang out with them. And they're amazing And your couple. husband's cool with that? Yeah, actually, I remember my ex-husband when I told him about this, because I'm very honest. Like, if they ask, yeah. I, I will tell them. And so um, I remember specifically my ex-husband, I was like, hey, let's go hang out with my friends, da 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 And he was like, no, fuck no. And I was like, excuse me? Yeah. And so Chris has hung out with them. He knows, and he loves them both. Yeah. That was in college. Like, you know what I mean? 2005. Right. Like 15 years ago. Right. I you know, wouldn't it's, do you're it. You're in an experimental. I at least feel like for me, college a little bit more was experimental in that aspect where I, that was like the only time I was really pretty intimate with the chick mm-hmm. along those lines. But I definitely made out with some of my girlfriends here and there. Yeah. Especially just for get guys' attention. I right? will say like in the group, I think there would be a lot of discrepancy with that as far as like would you let your husband or whatever hang out with two people that they like a couple that he has hooked up with before like I think the majority yeah I think the majority of women would be like no oh we I mean yeah well what I'm saying so the way I look at it too and I mean other people might look at it differently like he has a bunch of like friends that are still in his life and like other girls yeah, and yeah, whatever yeah. else and like you know he his high school sweetheart I don't care that what they're friends yeah like he'll see and I'll be like okay like you know what I mean not like hang out hang out uh-huh. shit I mean his ex-wife's still in our, in our life yeah but yeah yeah but i get you do you know what i mean like yeah, i'm not yeah. psychotic we're like oh my god you fucked her so much that you obviously had a kid yeah and yeah psychotic about that because <laughs> yeah. that's kind of i want to say you're along the same lines i don't but, think it's psychotic but yeah but but the thing is with i'm more cool with that and i get it's this kid but it was this baby's mo- baby mama they were yeah. married they yeah, lived yeah. together yeah like they, they had a very long other. relationship yeah. and i'm cool with it obviously for the kid 
Um, but how else am I supposed to be? Yeah. This was like a one time thing that was like maybe an hour. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like overall. Yeah. And he realized I was just young. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he doesn't care. Yeah. And he probably forgot about it anyway. Who? Chris. Chris? <laughs> Until like you just I bring have, it up. I just always like to point out that you have a very different relationship than sure. most people. Well, and I think that for the most part, like me and like I was saying, like me and my husband, like don't really talk to exes or hang out with people that we've had sex with before. Mm-hmm. It's just like, again, that's for us, whether sure. it, whether it's insecurity, which it probably is, or just no point like he's very good at just being like I don't need to hang out with anyone like and so for him it's like I don't need to if it yeah. makes you uncomfortable at all sure. like that's not my best friend in the whole world so okay if he, if he vocalized to me that like it really but bothered he him, doesn't it doesn't no. bother him and you know what that's honestly the only person that I think about that has you know that you talk to that you've like hooked up with before yeah, yeah. Back when I was like, uh, yeah, 18. and that's like, <laughs> like one time for one hour. Like if he, if he, yeah, if he like fucks some chick one time, right? Yeah, and then like she happened to be around, or like yeah. he was really good friends with like both of them. Yeah, like a husband and wife. Like I wouldn't care. Yeah, I just be like, okay, I don't like no, if I would, especially so I don't know. long ago. It depends on the time of month. <laughs> sometimes I really care, and sure. sometimes I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, and that's hormones, right? But yeah. like. And insecurity. So, like, there's people, like, people that my husband talks to that, like, sometimes I'll be totally fucking fine yeah. with. And then sometimes I'm like, and what did you guys talk about? <laughs> and how long did you fucking talk? And yeah. he's like, okay, I know it's, like, mm-hmm. that time. And not even, like, PMSing, but just literally that time in your cycle where you're just, like, you're insecure. That's true. You're horrible. You feel horrible about yourself. And so you project it onto, like, other people, yeah. whether it's, like, a, go- a girl that your husband works with or doesn't or what it doesn't even have to be yeah. someone that the, he's even hooked up hooked up with before but I will I notice it now too where I'll like get I'll have like a jealous part of my hormone cycle sure of the month no an that insecure jealous part and I I'm get that like, way sometimes too for right sure. so it's like even this Little situation things, yeah. you're like you're like yeah I wouldn't care if he hooked up with her one time or whatever and then like catch you on the wrong day sure and it's like no Who the fuck I could have an insecure moment and then immediately totally. start Just overthinking like, no things. I don't need you talking to people that you fucking see naked sure. sorry or whatever yeah. and he's like I will say okay. this about Chris though because I don't want people to think that he's so chillax he is probably one of the most protective people of me right right and so he knows of men in the past who have treat me poorly and taken advantage of me and he has like a fucking kill us dude right right and he also knows um and i typically don't like to tell him a lot of things unless he asked me point blank and he recently asked me point blank if an individual Mm -hmm. said shit to me right a guy and anything inappropriate and i was like damn it he asked me fucking like dead on now i need to tell tell him so i told him and chris wants to kill this individual now like doesn't want to hang around them or anything right and like that's fine like i told and i respect that i'm not gonna sit there and be like oh but you have to like hang on it's not a big deal i can handle myself which you can and that's the thing too he always says like hey i know you can handle yourself but that wasn't right and like i'm gonna sound okay with that and that's completely disrespectful to us and our marriage and i'm like no i get it i get it and so he knows i put them in their place and yeah. i do enough but he just so with other things he's kind of like what doesn't fucking matter yeah right no so i mean you guys are very but i would never very bring any- honest and very healthy and it's a good thing i just think even seeing like in the group how sure. people you know they'll pose questions like would you be cool with your husband doing this and for the most part people are like no and I mean, some people are like, yeah, fucking who cares? Like, just let him be. And then some people. So it's it really is divided as far as like the group of women yeah. that listen to us. Well, but and that's like, fine. And you know what, too? There's not going to be just a one solid answer for everyone. Yeah. Everyone's relationship's different. It's who are, who are we to judge everyone else's right. relationship? What works for you? What works for you? Right? right. But I personally would never, ever, ever bring anyone into our fucking bedroom. Yeah, so that's bedroom. a hard no. So no that's one a hard no for me. Hard no. Into if, the bedroom. Um, pooping. pooping probably not unless I was really drunk and he sat there and was like, can I like, this is you would let's listen, let's listen. I'm prefacing it like by no, a lot. I get it. Okay? I get how it all so happened. If he was like, I'm, this is the only thing that's turned me on. Like, I don't know why this is like a weird fetish thing. Like, please like, this is like, and if, if he, for some reason, and I will just be like, I'll try it. Like it has to be like solid. <laughs> Look, there's some things. Listen to me and really I, quick. And I had to be before drunk. Before you carry on. I had to be drunk. 
before you carry on, you need to listen really quick. <laughs> so there's some things that I think are like ingrained, embedded. So sure. like, it's never a, let me try this one time. There's some things True. that are like, let me try it once or let me try it a couple times. But there's some things that yeah. if they are like, I really want to try this. I you're know. like, you've always wanted to. You always want to do it. It's going to be like this forever. True. Well, Chris and I both had this talk, right? We both asked each other because I asked him these same things. Like, what if, I wanted to, no? like what if I wanted to pee on you? And he was like, listen, if that's the only way that you can get off is by peeing on me. Look, and that's what Ross always says to me. I think for girls you know? it's different. <laughs> But Ross always is like, whatever it is, whatever if, it is you I mean, want to do, like, I'll fucking do before, it. before, like, so many times. Sure. <laughs> like, that's, that hour. that's normal, right? You know? Yeah. And, like, technically, when they say girls squirt, they say that most of it's, like, it's urine. It's just pee. Like, it's pee, right? They say it's so you're peeing on the guy. So, unpopular opinion. You know, teach your own. But, like, it's not, no, it's definitely by no means something I'm like, oh, my God, please do it. Like, no. No, but I think the point is pee that probably, we I'm are cool open because we love our husbands, yeah. because we're in that kind of relationship, that we are open to making them happy. I would hope that it's not that. Yeah. Oh, but God, me too. obviously, and then things change, right? Like these old people that become swingers. Like, yeah. I think as you get older, as hormones change, as your life changes, like... And you become more you okay with become, things. Well, you also are like more willing to do different stuff right saying, or you're yeah. better at communicating mm-hmm. or you're better at like knowing what you want so like who knows what's gonna happen True. later on down the line where you're like this is what i want i've seen a lot of this it could change this is what i'm into and the biggest thing that we learned from aaron small hands is just communicate that right communicate if you want to try something communicate it say hey do you mind if we try some butt stuff tonight or do you mind if i like tie you up tonight yeah this is what i've been wanting to do and you have to respect and communicate the other person if they're yeah. like no. Hey, no, I'm not ready for it. Then you don't fucking do it. Then you don't do it. You know, um, plain what about and simple. Coming in your face. You totally cool with cool with that. Okay. I um, had I dated a guy one time that was like, that's all he did. Really? Yeah. Is this what he wanted to do? You know, like I said, I if there's this- a thing. If there's a thing, like beware. Yeah. You know, because then it's like they want to do it all the fucking time. So like for that, uh, see, I, after a certain point, I was just like, dude, because you like, can't in- like do quickies and stuff because then you always have fucking shit I all know. over your face and i do makeup so no unless it's like you're about to go to bed that's so you can't ever do anything like in the middle of the day or like in the morning to or me whatever. i it was i start weird. One, it was i start wondering weird. like why they're so obsessed with it yes right like when it's, guys sit get when guys get certain things that are obsessed with like coming in a chick's face or only doing anal like being obsessed with anal and not with vaginal sex then it makes me wonder like okay first of all in my head i go everyone has a butthole motherfucker so like what's the difference between me and anyone else out there yeah right including guys and animals or whatever else which i know that's gross (laughs) but it's just where my mind goes right and the coming in the face thing like with them being so obsessed with it is like do you have is there like some weird fucking mental shit is going on in your head. I think it's a humiliation you thing. To I think disrespect it's a, uh, yeah. someone like that constantly. And that's Because for me, mm-hmm. like, just fucking shoot it in my mouth. Let me swallow it. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. Like, it's so much easier. It's easier for me, You too. know? This is how I've always been, though. Yeah. Um, f- for me, in being in this one relationship, I was just like, I mean, I ultimately ended it because I was just like, dude, that's all. That's the only way. Yeah. That's I'm not gonna the s- only way you yeah. can fucking get off. Correct. That means you hate women. You hate me. You just want to fucking there's something like behind it. There's something behind it. And it, clearly there was something behind yeah. it. And it turns out there was. But um, it was just it, like, dude, it, that cannot be the only way. Correct. It's different if it's like every now and again or like, hey, do you mind? And by the way, too, before she goes down on you or before you're about to get off, ask her where she wants it. Right. Yeah. Do you want it in the chest? Do you mind if I do it in your face? Do you am I like my cool just to come in your mouth? Yeah. Right. And the girl will spit or swallow whatever she wants. But like that should be something. Right. Sometimes, yeah, I guess it sometimes depe- it depends on the, unless the stage of the relationship. So, like, right? well, Chris and I, he always knows I'll swallow, right? Right? It's just one of those things, like whatever. And but he'll tell me a lot of times, like, "Hey, I'm about to come," yeah, so yeah, like yeah. I'm prepared for it. Yeah, same. there's been a few times where I like after I swallowed, I was like, "You need to drink more water and drink less coffee and eat some motherfucking pineapple, bitch." <laughs> no, but like there has been a few times where I was like, "You really need to take care of your health a little bit better because that tastes fucking disgusting." Did you? How nice of you. Yeah. Um, I mean, so- <laughs> you're helping me out too, buddy. Like, right? <laughs> right? Um, I don't think I would ever say that, but yeah, I've definitely felt. Oh, that. I totally would. Um, it, what else was I going to say? Oh, the other thing was always wanting, always needing to do doggy style. There was someone that just always, hmm. and I was just like, you know what? Like, really? At least to come. So it's like, 
uh, you'd be doing it regular or whatever, but then they you have a to? move always that kind of like gets them off, right? Oh. You know your husband, blah, blah, blah. There's well, always a like lot. a lot of different ones, but there's always like a finishing type sure. move, right? Sometimes. Whether it's yeah, like... Yeah, if you can't, right, for some reason, you're like, okay, well, if you do this well, one let's move... Let's do this one move, whatever. Yeah. Um. So it was, yeah, doggy style every time for the finishing move. And I'm just like, you know, what does that say, right? Like, you don't want to see my face or like oh see, you know what yeah. i mean like i just didn't chris always wants to see me yeah and half the time and i'm you like should sure but half the time I'm like do you really want to see this yeah <laughs> this is a hot mess express right now but he's um, like no i do so yeah so i guess the question was yep, hard knows uh there are for me there isn't except for um poop and pee and bondage and bondage like, i'm being. down i mean i'm down like it's not anything that i need to do yeah like or like i'm gonna try, try anytime soon mm-hmm. but it's not opposed handcuffed. yeah not opposed to any of that uh and not not opposed to much to be honest yeah except for like maybe drawing blood i don't love that yeah no but like uh would you have sex on your period i have i don't love it oh i'm totally for it yeah i mean the, As, the to, me, shitty it's, to me thing, it's just extra lube yeah the shitty thing is that it feels better and it's just like it does feel again better. extra and lube and stuff kind of horny on my yeah. period too the only issue is we always are putting a towel down right like yeah. to clean yeah and it depends yeah i mean it depends but there are some girls too that said they wouldn't do that on their period and if, <clears throat> my ex um never went down on a girl before Right when we, yeah, like he mm. was like, I won't go down on girls. I think it's disgusting. And I was like, that's gonna fucking okay. change. Bye bye. You're gonna eat I'm gonna my change fucking pussy your like fucking it's popcorn, life. bitch. Yeah. Right? And now he's like a better man for oh, it. Oh God, he's so he's great at it. I trained him right, right. Right. So anyway, the first time he went down on me, I slid off the bed and went to the bathroom. Yeah. And he was like, "What is that?" And I was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, "Oh." And it was a little bit of blood. And I, I was like, oh, homeboy got his blood wings on the first time. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, I mean, it was barely any, right? Right. But he was kind of like, he was, it was fun. the best part, I think, is he was kind of bragging out to his buddy. He's like, dude, first time. Red wings. wings. Wow. Okay. Look it on him. Huh. I know. I will not let Chris go down no. town at all. No. And a lot of times he'll be like, what? I can just, like, lift around it. It's fine. And I'm like, no, you will not. You will no. not. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm-mm. He's down for anything. Yeah, and that's good because he I fucking love. loves you. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Um, next. One question that a, that a listener asked is, Jesse, did you ever try your butt plug? And if so, how did it go? No, I didn't. Yeah? Well, guess what gal. I feel like we need to do? While I'm here, at least this week or next week, let's go to a fucking sex store and get a butt plug. And get We're a butt both plug? Well. Okay. Because mainly, like, um, I've just used, like, a toy or, his, like, a finger. Yeah. But I would actually want to try out a plug that stays yeah. in. Right? So, so you get the right size. Yeah, the I right color, mm-hmm. the right material. Chris asked if I would wear one with a unicorn tail. I was like, sure. Like, and what makes a unicorn tail different than a horse <laughs> I don't tail? Fucking no. I think Is it just, color? Again, we had the same talk, so right. Oh, so okay. he was just like, "Would you wear one?" Would you? I was like, "Yeah," but if you were like weirdly obsessed with it, because like mm-hmm. then, I'd then be there'd concerned. be some like horse stuff and going he was on. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um. But so while we're on the butt topic, though, sure. This is something, and this is a just a butt stuff in general PSA, right? Mm-hmm. And we kind of talked about this with anything else. If you are a guy or a girl, and you either one of you appreciate butt stuff a lot, this yeah. is something that you need to talk to your spouse about, right? Yeah. Typically, I see it guys always wanting it, and girls not feeling as keen to it, which is fine because when I was younger, I was like completely against it. Yeah. Because to me, do- I found it very disrespectful. Because they're doing it wrong. Oh, well, sure. And the thing is, too, is a lot of times guy would just, guys would just spit and shove I'm it in. You can't it wrong. fucking do that, dude. And you're going to ruin not only a woman's asshole, but her entire mental state when it comes to anything yeah. anal. So this is stuff you have to talk about, right? And make sure they're on the same page as you. And on top of that, you need to start off slow. Start off maybe eating her ass in a shower. Yeah. Right? And then getting her comfortable in the bedroom. And then after that, maybe just insert like a finger a little yeah. bit and see how she likes it and play yeah. around with that. And then do like a skinny but little communication. Communication. You don't just do it. You don't, don't just, just do start it. doing it because as soon as you start, like, let's say eating your ass in the shower, she's going to think immediately that you're going to fucking just shove yeah, it. Because that's, no, you that's don't what's that. happened you're starting her off entire slow. life before that. No, you're starting off slow. You're gradually introducing mm-hmm. this individual to any type of ass play. And right? alcohol helps. And alcohol does help. One of the it first really times. Does. 
times. Does. It really uh, does. Because the first time Chris and I had anal, I, I was drunk and I was totally. like, put in. Yeah. Right? But we had played a lot yeah. around the area first. And then eventually you build up to your dick size. And by the way, like if you're a micro penis, that might be easy. But if mm -hmm. you're a big normal dick size, it's going to hurt. hurt. So sometimes you might even have to just put it in a little bit, get her butthole used to it, right? Um, and then make out with her, play with her, right? And her clit and everything. And then slowly kind of put a little bit more in. And that will feel a lot better well, too. Well, we have like a lot of women listeners more than guys, but they there's things that they can do too mm -hmm. to train their own if this is something sure. that they want to do so butt plug toys things finger your own fingers mm -hmm. getting yourself ready before you have sex with your husband like um i think it can be up to you as well as your partner yeah so like for the guys listeners take it slow for girls if it's something you want to try you really need to like get into it sure you need to like do it yourself you can or, or if, they can or do if it. he really wants to do it with you, if you have someone who's really understanding who wants to work with you with it, yes, then you'd that's have great. to have someone very understand. If very you have kind of a, and sorry, I'm just throwing it out there, but you're it'll be a douchebag if you just feel like you can just shove your dick mm -hmm. in some chick's asshole. Yeah, fucking douche canoe. Um, but if you it's have not like in porn, no, they it, are seasoned dude anal they've experts for the and also time. they've gotten their asshole ready before the fucking yes scene. they prepped up before the fucking scene so anyway if you have a douche canoe of a boyfriend just lube it up and do it yourself plenty of times before he decides that he wants to shove it in and guys be careful too when you're going switching holes yeah like don't and you by the way you don't go from butt shit to fucking vaginal shit that's how you get fucking yeast infections yeah. and anything like that. So you only go from vaginal to butt and that's it. And, and don't that's expect it. a girl to be sucking on it yeah. after. That's disgusting. Like, you know what I mean? Well, unless you have a real <sighs> dick fiend on sure. your hands. And then good and for it, you guys. Mind, that's fine. Anyways. And figure out. And also, too, ladies, communicate where you want him to come. Right? So, like, if you really want it in your butt. Yeah. And you're going to try to be pooping that out later on. Or if you want it on your back or wherever else. So there's our PSA with that. Porn. Let's talk about. So uncomfortable. Why? No. Let's talk about. <laughs> how is that uncomfortable? This is normal stuff. This is what I talk about with my sister. This, I'm so open with all this. Okay. Let's Good. talk about porn. Good. Let's talk yeah, about I know porn. you watch porn. I know yes. you get on rabbit holes of porn. Yes. Ross obviously watches porn. Yeah. Um, were you always okay with him like, watching him porn? Watching porn? Mm -hmm. Is there ever a time to you that you think that he shouldn't like be watching porn? I dated someone that was uh, addicted. Okay. So I know the difference. Um, I always thought it was fine. Like I always thought every guy just like watches porn too. You can't be having sex with them every second of the day and they mm -hmm. need uh, just from what I know, uh, guys need to come release mm -hmm. more than girls. Sure. Throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the whatever, life, right? Um, girls are more mental and can mm -hmm. n go for long periods of time. Yeah, sustain without it. Without it, yeah. without an actual release or we, our release is not a like, do you know what I mean? It's not, yeah. it's not the same, right? No. So I was always just like, yeah, they're, they're always going to be watching porn at some point. I'm going to be at work or I'm not going to be there sure. or like whatever. And, they, and they've had their porn people and their porn clips and their porn things since they're 16 probably mm -hmm. right 17 18 yeah, whatever watching it for a while. they've been watching it for a while yeah. they know their go-to's it's not like they're sitting they were there. young and scared of girls so what did they do watch porn right or got playboys and i know like my husband for example he has like his go-to his go-to scene i'm sure the thing that just works right sure. um so i dated someone though that would like the last time before we broke up um he would stay up really late mm -hmm. um and, um, you know, we were younger, so he was, like, partying, whatever. And he left the bed to – he left the bed. I went out to the to living go room to, to porn. see what he was doing. Yeah, and no. he was watching porn masturbating. So that, I think, is the difference, right? Me too. Yeah. And I think you know the difference between someone that is addicted to it and someone that just – like, I don't think it's a bad thing for your husband to be watching porn. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's – I think it's worse to tell him not to, right? Sure. And that's with anything. If you tell someone not to, <laughs> they're they really going want to, to want to. I will say my mindset changed on porn because obviously when I was younger, I thought it was like of the devil, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was terrible. And there's a lot of people that still think that. And, and you know, it I just thought it that like if a man really loved a woman, like he would just be with her. And now I realize it's healthy. 
right? It's healthy if and you it's do different. it in a healthy way. And it's different. Um, if you become, if you have your wife there with you and you are subjecting yourself to watching porn instead of being intimate with her, mm-hmm. there's issues. And she has every right to be fucking mad at you, right? right? That's completely wrong. Yeah. Um, is there a time where it gets too much? I think so. I think that guys, just, this is where we go down the addiction route. If they're doing it while you're there and if they're doing it too much where it's now becoming an issue or they're like calling you other women's names if they watch watching porn. Or if they watch it or like they're literally watching it nonstop all day long. Um, yes, there's an issue. There's a healthy balance, I think, with anything and any of this stuff. And so I think that's something that you have to communicate. And one thing I would suggest too, if you're not comfortable with porn and you want to figure out like what your husband wants or you want to feel more included on it, I would suggest having your husband sit down, you guys both sitting down and watching it together on the TV or on the computer screen and both like being intimate with it while watching it because he might be turned on and doing stuff you might be turned on seeing it or maybe you have something that you like and you can have him watch it so you become more comfortable with it if you're yeah because some i know some women aren't open to it and some are completely not okay with yeah. husband's doing it i completely understand that i've been there myself this is one of those things where you know yeah um with time it goes on you good yeah sorry <laughs> and are you getting stuff on your phone huh yeah sorry um so yeah so, so I think that you know I think that you know the difference I so think that you deep to. down know like if again I believe that it's normal and most people most people say it's healthy to be watching some porn if you're completely against it I'd rethink it a little bit but at the same time communicate that communication and just knowing that there is a line yeah and it's going to be different for everyone but I think a line of none is not a real great sure. place no, to I start. Agree. But yeah, go ahead. Um, some women are saying that they think that they're overthinking it. And here's the biggest thing that I can let you ladies know is that, first of all, your husband's with you because he loves you to death. Right. And honestly, if he could have you all the time, he fucking would. Yeah. I think sometimes guys resort to porn is because they realize they don't want you as much. And I know sometimes them reaching out to you and feel that feeling of rejection is really hard on them because yeah. they really want to be intimate with you. It's not that your husband or your boyfriend wants to get his dick wet. That's not really most of the time. Guys feel intimate and guys feel loved by arousing their woman and pleasing them in the bedroom. Like yeah. that's just how they show that love. A lot yeah. of them. Right. So one thing you can do too, if you want him if you know he's going to watch porn, but you don't want him to watch other women, you're not okay with it, make your own porn together. Yeah. Like, Chris and I have videos yeah. that we've made together or, like, make your ask own. Ask him what he's watching. Yeah, ask make him your own little video for him yeah. or a few for him. Of course, like, make sure they're on lockdown so they don't, like, get out. But do stuff like that for him because there'll be a lot of times Chris will just watch our shit. Yeah. Right? Or like, I'll send pictures. If I'm not in the mood or something. Yeah. yeah. You know? And there'll be times, too. So I don't overthink it. He's with you. He loves you. It's just kind of part of the male anatomy. At the same time, though, I would be a little bit concerned if he's doing it too much, addicted to it, doing it when you were there, and also, like, became really obsessed with, like, porn stars and, like, looking them up and, like, wanting to visit them and see them or Yes, and I like saw that. this on the group, too. I don't mean to, like, talk too much about the group, but they were, like, there's one girl that said something that I was, like, fuck, yeah, uh, where she was, like, that's why I ha- I there's a difference to me between porn and cam girls, where it's, like, cam girls, it's... There's something intimate about mm-hmm. it. You can um, interact yeah, you with, can them. Talk with them. You can talk with them. You form a relationship yes. with them. Yeah. Uh, you can follow them. Like things like this. So I, I totally get that. Yeah. And and whoever wrote that, like, yeah. Yes. Like that's that's exactly the difference. Is like they're just watching a fucking video yes. and beating yes. up to it. It could literally be anything. Yes. Right. Versus being in kind of like starting this emotional intimate yes. relationship with a cam girl and talking to her and yes. she being like let me let me hear about you that's to me that's a no-go different yeah so okay last one last question um women's sex drive mm-hmm. um so some ladies have hit me up saying that some of them have a lower sex drive or they basically feel like they have none at all and mm-hmm. that when they're hanging out with some of their girlfriends literally like five out of six of them say they have zero to no sex drive yeah and so I'm just curious if you ever experienced this before and like, what do you think it is? Or um, I think, well, I think mostly it's hormones, right? Which okay. we, we talked about. We're going to have someone on to talk about the hormone depletion in women, but w- in women. But what I, what I mean when I say hormones is we go through so many different hormonal cycles, either mm-hmm. throughout the month, throughout the week, throughout the day, pregnancy, uh, 
having a child, not having a child, yeah. trying to like all of these, you know, things Correct. that we go through and we go through, I think, seven year cycles as well. That's why our hair changes every seven years and stuff like this. Um, so I think that's the main thing. Mm-hmm. But then hormones it's play also a part, yeah. they play a huge part, but also it's confidence. It's your relationship. Mm-hmm. It's how busy you are. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that when I'm feeling really good about myself, yeah. my sex drive is higher. When Same. I'm feeling bad about myself, whether it's bad about my work, bad about my body, um, just insecure in general, my sex drive is lower. Mm-hmm. And so I think those factors for me are huge and then also having a partner that is just like you are perfect yeah. right I want you all the time like yeah. just you um and then we also as women too need to realize that guys don't see all the things that we see no they don't see the cellulite they don't see the two extra pounds the five extra pounds they don't see the pimple they don't they just don't see that if they really love you if they love you Correct. if they do not They will point out shit like this and probably turn you into the person that you are with low sex drive. So um, for me, for me, Mm -hmm. that's what it is. If I'm feeling fucking, if I've been to the gym, if I've been eating good, if I whatever, like I want to have sex. Yeah, that makes sense. If I'm not, I don't. See, for me, it's a little bit different. I've been able to, as, as, I told it was this on Matt's episode. Like I, I felt like I was kind of able to shut down my sex drive for like a year or two. Yeah, when I was going through training. It's, it's when it's I, possible. It's it's more possible for girls than I think it is for yeah. guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I was a hornball, right? And I sure. wanted to be intimate with people, but I was so when I'm like stressed with work and I feel like overbear, like overbearing with a lot of stuff on my plate, when I need to focus on work and I have a lot of stuff going on kind of in my life, mm-hmm. I back burner and shelf sex sometimes. For sure. Right? And that's the only, For that's sure. the only time where sometimes I've been in the zone and I'm just so, I like, I back burner it and then I look at myself and go, do I, do I not have a drive? Yeah. And the minute that I allow myself to relax and be with my husband and he touches me in one area, I'm like, bing, okay, yeah. I want you, right? But that's the thing too. Sometimes with women, we get in these survival modes where I feel like you're like, go, 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 go. And we totally like shut down sex. Well, we're where multitaskers, we, We're multitaskers. Right? So we're able to compartmentalize yeah. fucking life. And I think that when we've not had sex for like, let's say, if, even, if, even if it's a few weeks, right, we might think that there's something wrong with our drive because we haven't had it in a bit and we're not like craving it. Sometimes just having sex, even if you don't really feel like it, can feel amazing, right? Mm-hmm. Like once you're getting into it, because initially there's been a few times where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling it. But the but minute we start kissing, right. and the minute we start trying to be intimate, I'm feeling it 100%. Like my body is going, I'm craving this. And I've I been think, craving it. I think as women too, we ask ourselves, we think it's us. Sure. More, I, so well, I thought it was me. We're always oh, yeah. asking what's wrong with us when you're like, there's all these other factors you need to yes. be looking at too, where it's like, what about your partner? What is he doing to you? What is he saying to you? Or or maybe you don't have someone, but you're just like, I, I agree, guess yeah. that's possible. I mean, I'm, I'm I will sure. Say, I will say I'm very big on being connected, yeah. right? So if I had, I had drunk sex so much to where there was no connection, there right. was no intimacy for right. me. So the first time that I had sober sex, I was like, truly, I felt like I was kind of in love with this person. Yeah, yeah. And it was so special. And I felt so connected. And I still, and I have to have that in order yes. to have sober sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when my husband and I are struggling and we're going through a bad time and I'm really stressed about things, guess what? Kind of the last thing I want to do is have sex with him right mm-hmm. so that's the hard thing too is for him it's like he'll see me and go Ba-ching! yeah where other times if me and him are doing really really good that's when i'm super turned on yeah right and it all depends but i i know for me that if i go for a little bit without having it especially if we're away from each other with work just kind of re- get yourself a time to relax um you know just uh, maybe let him kiss on you a little bit and see how you're feeling if you're not feeling it definitely don't make yourself do it yeah. Um, but if you are still not feeling anything, definitely I would get your hormones checked out. Because I noticed a big change in my hormones after my miscarriage. Yeah. After you said that, it made so much more yeah. sense. Because I went from wanting so much sex and doing anything to like not wanting it at all. Mm-mm. And then like going on this roller coaster mm-hmm. ride. And all and I had so to say. So I've had two kids where it's like I've yeah. gone through this cycle of like 
wanting it, not wanting it, like not even thinking about it, not even wanting to be. I mean, there's a point where you like don't even want to be fucking touched. Like, yeah. don't look at me. Don't Correct. touch me. So you're right. Like, it just goes like this. But I will. I mean, I'll piggyback on that for one second of like you need to be having sex with your partner in order for it to for everything else to work that's how that's what i believe no you do so if you aren't Intimacy having is sex a major and all part you're of doing your relationship all you're doing is fighting no. then that resent that tree of resentment is growing mm -hmm. in between you and your partner and it will just continue to grow and if you don't connect sexually mm -hmm. um I don't I don't know a number that's healthy, but if it's been like three weeks, let's say, before that's a, uh, since that's a you've while, had yeah, yeah. since yeah. you've had any kind of sexual if you connection were together, with your partner, right? yeah. husband, let's say husband uh -huh. or long, long term partner that you want to be with forever. If it's been three weeks and maybe you're fine with that, but if you're fighting or if weird little fights are coming up that's why mm -hmm. and if you connect even if you don't really want to but if you're the bigger person that's like we need to fucking have sex yeah. right now and i don't give a shit if you're pissed at me we're gonna do this Dude. right now i promise you from that point at least the next day will be a little bit better no i'm telling you right You'll now be it makes a talk. world of difference when chris and i when their Addie, brains are unclouded yes when all that semen is out of there they really are just so when their much balls nicer. are a lot lighter they really can see you yeah and you can have that conversation that you want to have about the dishes or about the thing it's the one piece of advice i can i got from my mom i will pass oh on my gosh to i learned that in my marriage because there'll be times where i'm like i just want him to listen to me right like just listen stop interrupting me Guess stop being what? rude and we will be going down this little i feel like rabbit hole of just stupid Guess fucking what? arguments and the minute we have sex he's a fucking changed man dude Anything you want he's like what do you want i love you like i'll get this and i'm like but it's not, and I'm and not we're bagging. Not, we're on, not saying to use it. We're no, not saying to I'm, use it to your advantage. No, and I'm not saying bagging no. on guys like oh, if they just get the sperm out. No, what no, I'm no, saying no. is you're, connecting. You're connecting. You're being intimate with your with your. And lover. sometimes when you can't connect or get on the same page as mm -hmm. far as like oh, I'm gonna just say the dishes or picking up the kids or whatever it may be, that connection will make the other one easier. I don't. Yeah, I definitely don't do it for him to do things. I, no, I, I, no, no, that's not. But what I you're do saying. it for a connection. But I do it so that and so we, we have feel some so kind much of better. Connection. Yes. Otherwise, you spin away from each you other, do. and you can never get back. Correct. You will never be able to get back to that point. So at least if you are like spinning back into each other Correct. and like hitting hitting each other every once in a while, hitting it, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you can at least stay in the same orbit, right? But yeah. if you just don't have sex, don't connect, don't talk, don't da 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 da. That's it. That's the end. And I know, I know people that are just like, and he won't fucking. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like you don't, but you don't have sex with him, like, or he doesn't have sex it's with important. you, or you're not kissing it's or important. hugging your you fucking roommates to, that are fighting have, over yeah, yogurt. You have being to eaten. have the intimacy, yeah. and you know you what? Have to, or else you're and the thing roommates. is, have those conversations with one another. And ladies, if you're still feeling like it's really the hormones, one thing I actually do take. Yeah, we are going to get someone on. Yeah. We're going to talk to Dr. Frank and see if he has, he was on the Drinking Rose, see if he has anyone female in his organization that yeah. knows about that kind of stuff because I think it is a huge, 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 huge part of it. One thing that I do that I learned from some of these infertility groups I was in and some of these ladies were also talking about wanting to have kids but their drive was really low is maca root. Um, yes. I take maca root myself and I'll tell you some of the days I take it like I can't like Chris is like so when I was like, trying you were all over me when I was trying to get pregnant I had been trying for like six months and like when when it's the first time that you've ever tried to have tried to get pregnant mm -hmm. it seems like forever yeah and so I was just like fuck and then like uh someone told me about maca root mm -hmm. that first month that I took it I got pregnant yeah I so I take that so I and I can definitely tell a difference yeah. sometimes when I don't right as much and it of course there's hormones too i'm not saying this is like a fucking cure-all but we'll definitely get on a professional but yeah yeah it's just just like communicate anything. with one another if you're not anything. feeling it or yourself or whatever or try you know do you have a yes. drinking bro no i do so this drinking bro submission was from matthew 
Matt Chu? <laughs> Isn't it funny? Matt and then Chu. Oh, I love that. I know. So his name is Faces Spaces 4708 on uh, Instagram. Nice. And he said, first, I'd like to say that I appreciate all the extra content. You two are hilarious. Secondly, I'd like to nominate my wife, um, Kaylin Henneke, uh, for Bro of the Week. I feel so like she I know that name. Really? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so she moved across the state of Oklahoma with me last year because I took on a new job. We had two weeks to plan the move, get everything packed find a rental house and then get settled in so um basically those two weeks i was already working um for the new department and you know couldn't really help her out with anything going on so during all this we started finalizing plans of building a new home um near an old family farm um for the new job sorry i'm like trying to read this at the same time there's punctuation marks <laughs> oh, so shortly oh. after we got here we started to um build the house she found a job she earned quick promotions with the school she works for planned out her interior planned out her interior design um and she handled all the business of paying um the workers and paying the furniture oh and dude basically i know firsthand stuff. that's dude. fucking gnarly. So basically she's, she's doing all she's taking, stuff, care, right? of she's taking care of fucking everything everything yep which is what we do yep and while he's working in the department so he Good said job, he, he worked nights and weekends so he worked night and weekends and so she had to and handle it you, all right to work working all yeah. that as well so now their house is finished woo, which is great and they're moving in um she has killed the entire process and she didn't even threaten to leave me or beat me once <laughs> oh my gosh well that i'm surprised She's because i have yeah it's stressful i've had to do that with a couple of houses and like you really want to i mean kill yourself i know so he's yeah. saying that he's you know incredibly lucky to have her by my side and helping her steer this party bus in the right direction so That's thanks awesome. so much for what you all do and for highlighting her badassery so we're more than pleased and excited to highlight Cheers her badassery so kaylin henneke kaylin you're Hennekey. a badass bitch Good for you bitch and i love it you know love it takes it. a team we're right? gonna do we're gonna have to do, expand on this i guess when we no, get we more uh if we see more things and again girls we're not going to say anybody's name or really like do specifics so that anyone can you know know what you guys are talking about in that group but I think it's I don't know I think the conversations that they start are awesome and all these came from that so mm -hmm. it's good to just get talking absolutely and hear what other people are going through and again not experts but you know, we've yeah. lived some life and we have our own experiences and maybe That's they're all the we're same as yours or maybe they're not. I don't know. But um, so go these, have uh, sex with your partner. No, I can't. I'm here. Not you. So, oh, OK. Yeah. You guys go out there. So um, we got these submissions from our Instagram and from our Facebook page. So if you guys want us to talk about something, feel free to send that in. If you guys want to find us, we're on Drinking Bro. It's podcast on Instagram and Facebook. You're on Jesse Wiseman, all the shit. I'm at The Real Tiffany Hart. Guess what, guys? We're on TikTok. Also, <laughs> I know. I feel childish saying that, but it's fun. And uh, one thing if you guys want to do that would really help us out, too, is if you guys want to rate and review us on iTunes, you guys are constantly like flooding our inbox with how great you guys think the podcast is. We really appreciate it. If you guys want to put that on let iTunes, iTunes know and let then iTunes know because guess what? We'll get more broettes, more listeners, right? And people actually get to see what you guys really think of it. And if you guys don't like it, it's fine. Don't Le write anything. <laughs> Leave it on there. Just tell them, tell me why. Good reviews only. <laughs> tell me why. But no, that would help us out a lot. So yeah, go have sex with your significant other. Have fun. If you guys are fighting a bunch and you're not having sex, just go and be like, hey, we're having sex right now. Look at my vagina. And watch him say no, by the way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl on moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do.